Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative Frank Pallone Jr. who is the representative for the 6th District of New Jersey and it sits on the very northeast portion of the state the uh, state encompassing Edison and uh, not far from New York City itself. He is a Democrat and before he took office he was preceded in office by James J. Howard. Now let's go ahead and look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Long Branch, New Jersey on October the 30th, 1951. Graduated from Long Branch High School in Long Branch, New Jersey in 1969. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from Middlebury College in Middlebury, Vermont in 1973. Earned a Master's of Arts from Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy in Tufts University in Bed Medford, Massachusetts in 1974. Earned a JD from Rutgers University School of Law in Camden, New Jersey in 1978. Has been a private practice lawyer. Member of the Long Branch, New Jersey City Council 1982-1988 member of the New Jersey State Senate 1983 to 1988 before being elected as a Democrat to the 100th Congress by special election to fill the vacancy caused by the death of US Representative John, James John Howard but was not sworn in because Congress had adjourned elected simultaneously to the 101st Congress and re-elected to the 17 following Congresses. So yeah, he is technically in term 19. Now let's go ahead and look at the committees he is on. He is on the Committee on Energy and Commerce of which he is a ranking member, of which he's on the Subcommittee on Communications and Technology, the Subcommittee on Energy, Climate, and Grid Security, the Subcommittee on Environment, Manufacturing, and Critical Mi Minerals, the Subcommittee on Health, the Subcommittee on Innovation, Data, and Commerce, and the Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigation. Now, let's go ahead and look at his top five industry donors over his career. At the top, health professionals who have donated $4,895,281. Next is pharmaceuticals and health products who have donated $2,083,611. Next is lawyers and law firms who have donated $1,808,025. Next is lobbyists who have donated $1,415,835. And fifth is real estate who have donated $1,175,106. Let's go ahead and look at his top five individual donors and contributors over his career. At the top, number one, we have Wakefern Foods. And they are an American company that was founded in 1946 and based in Keys Bay, New Jersey. Altogether, they have donated $223,180. And once again, that's Wakefern Foods. Next, at number two, we have Verizon Communications. And they are commonly just known as Verizon and are an American multinational telecommunications conglomerate. 
all together, they have donated a total of $184,100. And once again, that's Verizon Communications. Next, at number three, we have Sheet Metal Air, Rail, and Transportation Union. Their full name being the International Association of Sheet Metal, Air, Rail, and Transportation Workers. They are a North American labor union headquartered in Washington, D.C., which was just chartered by the AFL-CIO in 2013. Altogether, they have donated $178,800. And once again, that's the Sheet Metal, Air, Rail, and Transportation Union. Next, at number four, we have the American Association for Justice, formerly known as the Association of Trial Lawyers in America. They are a nonprofit advocacy and lobbying organization for plaintiff's lawyers in the United States. Altogether, they have donated $174,500. And once again, that's the American Association for Justice. And finally, in fifth, we have Public Service Enterprise Group. And this is a publicly traded diversified energy company headquartered in Newark, New Jersey in the U.S. established in 1985 with a legacy dating back to 1903. Altogether, they have donated $163,718. And once again, that was Public Service Enterprise Group. Now let's look at his donors at a glance, starting with industry. Health professionals? Um, okay. Pharmaceuticals, health products? Again, okay. Lawyers and law firms? Uh, lobbyists? Boo! Suck! Real estate? Uh, individually? We have white fern foods? Uh, Verizon Communications, uh, uh, sheet metal, air, rail, and transportation workers, absolutely wonderful. American Association for Justice, okay. Public Service Enterprise Group, um, okay, I guess. But this has been a look at Representative Frank Pallone Jr., who represents the 6th District of New Jersey. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. As always, I'll be putting mine in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.